Walmart haul number whatever. Here we go. Okay, so I ordered a mop off of Instacart the other day, but it didn't show up. So I got refunded for it and I just went to Walmart today after the gym and I got myself one. I think this is like almost the same one that I got that I was gonna order, yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm literally just not researching anything and just buying like whatever I see and not looking at prices because I need it. And these floors, yeah, I haven't done them since I moved in and it's bothering me. I should have done them like before I got all the furniture moved in here, yeah. So whatever, it's gonna be more work for me now. Um, I got a broom also. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get this at first, but yeah, what do you do before you mop? You sweep, yeah, all the dust and stuff. And just like, yeah, brooms come in handy for a lot of things. And so I got this nice one instead of those like cheap green and white ones with like the, yeah, the bristles that don't really actually sweep. <laughs> I'm getting myself the nicer things, yeah. And then I got myself this fan. I'm pretty sure this is like almost the exact same one as that I had in my other place that like I didn't like only because it cut me when I was trying to clean it. Yeah, I guess the bottom looks different, but everything else and it's the same brand. Um, it's a 16 inch. This is the only um, standing one they had. Yeah, and this is like the one Yeah, I only went there for a fan and pads, but I ended up yeah spending $260. I yeah whatever um whatever yeah i got a bunch of stuff that i really like um a wall ledge set so this is a pack of two in black i want to like put them on my walls in here and then put like candles on them or like yeah decorations and then i got a large one in black also everything's going to match and then I got this. I always buy one of these. Um, it's a multi-purpose tray, but I've seen like the boots. Yeah, and that's why I always buy stuff like this. Um, and this is like a small, the smallest one I've ever seen or had. I usually can only find like really big rubber plastic ones. Yeah, for like my boots in the winter because I'm in a winter state now. And yeah, I have a thing about cleanliness. And so it really helps to right when I come into my door to have a little rug and then have this to take my shoes off or like, yeah, like immediately step onto this. And so I can keep my floors clean. And then, yeah, you put the dirty boots that have all the, like, the snow on them. And so then it gets wet in here instead of all over your floors. So this will come in handy. I just picked it up now during the summer because it was like cheap and it was there. And this is like the smallest, most convenient one that I've seen anywhere. So I just thought that I will for sure be using that eventually here. And yeah, if I want to like paint or like, right, there's probably like a lot of other things that that will come in handy for instead of laying down newspaper, right? Like I really like those. And then um, I got another blanket, a plush blanket, king size. Um, I don't know why, like, yeah, something was telling me to go down the bedding set. I am picky with my bedding. Like I have that mattress, a big queen size mattress that I just got that I still need to put together like ASAP here. But I do not buy um, sheets from, yeah, I know they say like Egyptian cotton and this kind of red count or whatever, but they're lying. Yeah, there's not the ones I want. I have to spend at least like $120, $150 on sheet sets. Um, when I bought this couch, I asked um, them if they had sold sheet set sets there because furniture stores is usually have like a whole wall of really nice like sheets and then like at the very top like yeah they go from like okay ones and then at the top is like the really expensive nice ones so I just need to like go and find another furniture store call around maybe yeah because um, I'm so sick of ordering offline yeah and I want to make sure the quality is good because I just yeah I ordered my mattress um, four years ago and I got a free set of sheets that were like really nice ones and ever since then I just can't sleep on anything else and so it's really actually annoying yeah okay I got an extra small this was on sale um, it says four dollars on here but it rang up as three so that was nice and yeah it's summer summer dresses I love just having this to throw on over a bathing suit or real quick or it's just easy for me yeah not having to think about it I don't know I just really like um, sundresses. Yeah, I thought this was really cute. 
And I got another one of these for $5.98, extra small, because I didn't have this color, but I literally have every single other color in this. It's like a padded, um, like a bandeau bra slash bra shelf. Um, I use them under shirts, yeah, and then I keep like, I can pull like this lacy trim out, and so it looks nice, yeah, and it's just like so much more um, comfortable than wearing a bra because it just kind of like lays over it, yeah, so I just like really have been liking these, and I've been wearing my other ones, so this is a good purchase, right, I have been wearing them with almost every shirt, and then I got um, regular flow with flexi wings, for the past like six, seven months, the past year probably, I have been just grabbing whatever that they have, like at whatever store I go to, like I usually stick to like one brand, you know, but I've been all over the place and these are pure cotton and that's what I look for. I usually go for the, like the organic ones, but these say that they're free of dyes, fragrances and chlor bleeding or chlorine bleaching. Um, so that's like, yeah, and it says, I don't know, they don't say organic on them though. But as long as they're um, cotton, it says 100% oh, cotton top layer, right? I would prefer like a more natural, but they just didn't have any that I was seeing. They had organic tampons there, but they just didn't have organic pads, unless I just didn't see them. I don't know. Um, so I got regular, and then I got heavy flow for at night, same kind. Um, yeah, I mean, they'll work for me. I haven't bought ones that like don't work for me. And if they do, like, I'll just, um, I don't return. I just, like, I should start returning because I didn't know you could return makeup. I didn't know you could return food that's open. Yeah, you can return open makeup, open food, and stuff like that. Like, I just thought that you couldn't. Maybe I'll start returning it, but I don't like to return it because don't they just throw it out or do they donate it? Like, I'd rather just give it away to somebody, yeah, because I don't know if they just throw it out. Um... These are reusable period underwear. I bought some off of offline and then I moved and I got rid of them and I'm like mad about it or I threw them away. Yeah, because yeah, nobody wants your used yeah, period panties. But this is only one pair and this was like $16 for this. So yeah, not a good purchase, but I really just hate having to wear pads. Um, like especially at night like I don't know it just starts bothering me after like the first two days I have such a light flow and so I really would rather just wear these and um the other ones really didn't absorb much um of my flow yeah like I still had to wear like a pad with them so right but on my light days I would really rather just wear like a pair of period panties and lay around them all day yeah and these are super absorbency and I got a size medium um, because when I'm on my period I'm bloated yeah I don't want to wear a, sm a small size right like I like to have big bigger yeah um, so we'll see how super absorbent this is um, yeah and is this like the thinks is this like the main brand is this like the popular one um, the other ones I bought were like a cheap brand it was like $25 off of Amazon for like a six pack so maybe that was the issue um, who knows we got um, a plunger just in case <laughs> just the essentials I got a brush toilet brush I didn't like this one last time I bought it because it's like the cheap one for my last place because like when you're cleaning with it it was like yeah it wouldn't like stay stiff and I kept like it kept like bending but this one feels more durable and like I don't know the bristles are rough so we'll just see how this works because I wasn't about to pay like yeah $13 for the other ones and they were in like white ugly canister looking things yeah and these I like to just throw away like every month so I just like to bring or yeah get a cheap one and then what I do is I just have a bag like this that I stick it in after I'm done cleaning my toilet and run it under like the sink or something or not even just like put it back in here yeah depending on how dirty it was and then I just put this like this under my sink or whatever to store it and that works for me yeah until I throw it up because it just grosses me out yeah I like to replace them <laughs> and then I got a lint roller um, with bamboo handle um just because i've been having issues with needing one of these i usually don't use these but yeah i guess um this past week i've been having 
annoyances. So I had that on my list and so I got one because it was right there. And then I got another one of these because in my car I was freaking out because the stupid, yeah, I got another um, ch portable charger, not in this haul, but um, this was so hard for me to figure out. And then the charging in my car for my iPhone, like this, they don't have a plug for this, for these ends in my car. And then I have a USB-C to a converter, yeah, from the regular USB, but that doesn't plug into my car either. I just was losing my mind. Like, why is this so complicated? So I really took the time. And so the USB here, that is what plugs into my car. And that is what plugs into my phone. So I think I got it now. Yeah, and it's a lightning connector. So, right, it says, compatible with iphone 12 pro max is the like the last one it says but it's gotta go up more right like it my iphone 14 pro max it'll work with it right because i bought another one of these last week or something yeah and i have it plugged into my computer and it works the exact same one so i think we should be good <laughs> we better be good otherwise i'm gonna lose it <laughs> and then i got a whole bunch of lotion because i'm out and I am a lotion freak. Um, I got little ones, little ones for my purse. I know these are kind of a waste of money and I should figure out how to like refill them, but a lot of these little ones, they don't have the option to refill them or you pretty much have to like pop this top off until it's broke to be able to refill. Maybe this one will screw off easier. Yeah, but then they have that tiny little hole, right? Like, I don't know. Um, whatever, I use these enough and I really need these. So I got this one at first in the aisle as I was walking. Or you can see like how much lotion there's not up in there, right? It's not too bad. They need that so it doesn't explode. Yeah, that's just like a little area, but otherwise. Um, and then I went down the lotion aisle and then I seen this one and it was just like a different shape container. And so that's why I got this one. And yeah, I'll use them both. I keep one in my purse at all times. I don't keep them in my car because I don't want anything that's gonna explode in there, yeah. I like to keep my car very nice and orderly. And then after looking at three different sections, um, down, yeah, I finally found Aqua 4, what I was looking for. I already had like three or four of these around this place, but I'm still constantly running out of these and not enough. Like I like to keep one in my bathroom, one in my other bathroom, one in my kitchen, and then one in here in my living room, one in my purse, one in my bedroom. Yeah, I need one of these at every one of my like sit down spots. So I got three more of these. This should be good for now. And then Jurgens has been like my tried and true for years and years now. I actually just switched back to this because I was having such issues trying to find a freaking organic all natural yeah and coconut oil just doesn't work for my freaking skin which would be so nice if it did because that's all natural and that's healthy you know so i just really hate that my skin it, it dries it out yeah it dries my skin out and makes it horrible i cannot have oil on my skin at all so we got this eucalyptus mint it says mint essential oil we'll see i've never seen this one it looks new yeah i don't know if this is um yeah it's the essential oil collection calm and renew triple butter blend i only got it because it's like the it's like the body butter yeah and i love body butter and i haven't spoiled myself with the body butter in so long it smells so good oh my gosh it smells so good um so we'll use that and then there was like a whole bunch of new jergens um like flavors or scents yeah scents <laughs> and so these are both new i've never seen these ones before so i got both of these and they must have a new oil infused line because i was going to get like an avocado one and then there was a coconut one but they were all infused with coconut oil and oils and so i put one back because i got a big one at first of like the coconut infused with coconut oil because i wanted to try them i was going to get one of each of the new ones yeah because i go through this very fast and um yeah these are like the smaller bottles too i usually get the 32 ounce bottles but they just didn't have them in these ones they only have them in the natural in the original and like um the healing one yeah so i just got these ones these are both like ten dollars yeah they're kind of pricey but i need them yeah i need to put this on after my showers after my baths 
uh, the so yeah soothing aloe and daily moisture um i don't know i just really like these i wish that i could wear something else but i just can't i've been having yeah for years now i've been trying everything i've been trying all of them i have tried all of the organic natural ones and they just don't work for me and then of course right after the gym i go there and yeah while i'm looking at the phone charger <laughs> like in the yeah before you check out aisle yeah or like in the yeah you know what i mean like where they have just like random things so i um just let myself have temptations whatever i'm craving i let myself eat it otherwise if i don't that leads to like binging so it's better for me to just let myself eat whatever i want and like yeah and like and limit myself to not eat the whole thing right <laughs> so that i don't like after a week of eating healthy i won't like completely binge all day long on like really bad food you know and so i also let myself get this a huge bag i should have found like a snack size but like it's fine whatever yeah and then i also got one mountain dew the regular kind i hate diet soda no sugar like i yeah um and that was all $230. I went there for two things and this is what this is why I shouldn't have never gotten a car. This is why I need to go back to walking. That way I only buy what I can carry on my back. And this is just crazy, but I needed all of this. <laughs> and yeah, I'll make my money back. It's fine. Um thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. Like, comment and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.